everybody. Today we're going to be reviewing The Cellar by Minette Walters. Um, very good book, very quick read, which I like. I uh, finished it in a day, and it kept me totally absorbed through the whole, through the whole thing. Um, the Cellar is really interesting because it takes what is supposed to be, or what usually would be a victim, and it makes them the antagonist of the story. Or, you know, it doesn't. And that's the most enjoyable part of the story is you're never quite sure whether the main character of the story is the protagonist or the antagonist, um, whether her decisions throughout the book are, you know, justified or not. This story centers around a young character named Muna, um, as she has been kept in a cellar for most of her life, and uh, her situation changes um, following the disappearance of one of her brothers. Uh, so the story is about, is mainly focuses on the power play between Muna and her adoptive family. Uh, I don't want to say too much about this book because it is very short. Um, as you read the book, you'll see um, Muna become, as you read the book, you'll see that Muna is a very intelligent character, um, despite the fact she has had no formal education, um, and she easily manipulates everyone into getting her way whether or not the characters deserve what Muna inflicts on them is ultimately up to the reader. Um, I personally, <laughs> I, even though I was, I, I had so many mixed feelings about this book, I was so happy that she got revenge for her situation, but I was more than a little perplexed at uh, the method. I had only one issue with this book, and it's a matter of personal preference. Um, the end, or throughout the entire book really, they make references to Muna hearing the devil's laughter, which, I mean, kind of adds this element of like mystery um, and sort of lets you, you know, wonder if Muna actually is hearing the devil's laughter or if she's mentally ill or, you know, what's going on if her situation has sort of inflicted, afflicted her mind. Um, and there's sort of a kind of mystery to that, and I enjoy that. Um, at the end of the book, they clarify that... Uh, Actually, they end the book entirely on the note that Muna is, in fact, laughing herself, and it's not the devil's laughter. I thought that it was kind of an abrupt ending, and I didn't necessarily like the reveal. I sort of liked not knowing either way, because this book is very cerebral, and you're not really sure what's right and what's wrong, and what's where the lines are crossed, but you know lines are crossed. Um, but other than that, this book was fantastic. I would recommend it 100,000%. I cannot wait to read you guys a section in the next video. Um, if you've read this book and you like it or you don't, you let me know. <laughs> um, other than that, that's it. I'll see you guys next time.